insects have been eaten by humans from prehistoric times to the present day. Before humans had tools to hunt or farm, insects may have represented an important part of our diet. Most apes are insectivores to some degree. Cave paintings in northern Spain, which have been dated from about 30,000 BC, depict the collection of edible insects. The Bible advises us that all flying insects that walk on all fours are an abomination to you, yet you may eat these. Of all winged creeping things that go on all fours, which have long jointed legs for hopping on the earth, even of these you may eat any kind of locust, any kind of caddy did, any kind of cricket, and any kind of grasshopper. But all winged creeping things, which have four feet, are an abomination to you. Human insect eating is common to cultures around the world, including Central and South America, Africa, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. Over a thousand species of insects are known to be eaten in 80% of the world's nations. However, in some societies, insect eating is uncommon or even taboo. Greeks and Romans ate grubs and larvae, and the lower classes ate grasshoppers. Through the ages, travelers would report on the insect eating habits of various people in rural parts of Europe. The mountain people of Europe ate grubs. Children in southern France ate grasshoppers. The inhabitants of the West Indies were said to collect and dry and salt a great many insects to sell to people inland. In North America, 21 species of insects are consumed. Not surprising since protein content of insects can be up to 72% protein by dry weight. It is a significant source of protein in parts of Mexico. Chapalinas, or grasshoppers, are a common food item. Edible insects have been part of Mesoamerican cuisine, probably going back thousands of years. The Aztecs had a diet that included grubs and grasshoppers. Mexico has 550 species of edible insects, more than any other country in the world. Chopolinas are crickets cleaned well and toasted until they are crunchy. They are a popular taco ingredient. They can also be ground into a powder and mixed with spices to be used as a seasoning. It has been pointed out quite truthfully that our eating of crab and lobster and clam is not that much different than bug eating and is looked on with about as much horror by some on the outside. Europeans never really took their bug eating to North America. Today insect eating is uncommon in North America and Europe. Crickets are making inroads high in protein and low in fat. It is usually dried and ground into a powder so you can't really tell what it is. Like most of the food we eat, they aren't difficult to raise, as many lizard and iguana owners know, and they are far less intensive on resources than animal food production. Micro farming could be an important source of food security. Cricket farms are popping up, like in Tomo Farms in Ontario. They make the cricket powder I found at the local grocery store. Crickets are a complete protein that contain dietary fiber and mostly unsaturated fat as well as contain some vitamins and essential minerals. Today restaurants from New York to Vancouver are serving bugs, intentionally. Foodies are always looking for the next new thing. Large-scale bug farming or entomophagy may become an important pillar of food security, allowing the production of protein at a much reduced cost and impact on the environment than of pork or beef or chicken. Animal agriculture makes a very substantial contribution to climate change, air pollution, 
land and soil and water degradation, land use concerns, deforestation, and the reduction of biodiversity. As the world heats up, the water dries up and raising livestock will become less viable. North Americans and Europeans are going to have to change their heads.